hey, 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 Facebook. Let me see if we can do. Oh. Hey, Facebook. This is Ev. I'm so excited to be back with you guys because Sunday School Chat has not happened on Facebook in a very, very long time. So I'm so happy to be back presenting you guys with Sunday Soul Chat. Now, Sunday Soul Chat is your weekly conversation with your soul. If you've been joining me over on Instagram, what I've been doing is introducing you to some powerful, 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 powerful queens that will help you shift your mindset, take yourself to those next levels, because we all need to be inspired by somebody and we should all keep seeking inspiration, people to follow, <clears throat> because this life is nothing until we reach our full potential. So I'm so excited today to have my girl Tristan Pogue, Prish Pogue like Vogue. <laughs> I have to say it like that because she is just so phenomenal and she is the CEO and founder behind Trish Atelier. But what I'm going to do is allow her to introduce herself. So if you are joining this, make sure you comment, make sure you share. Make sure you invite your friends, tag your friends over here. I know you guys haven't seen me doing Sunday Soul Chat, so this is exciting. This is something exciting even for me. Um, so give me one second while I add her on. If this is the first time joining Sunday Soul Chat, you haven't been with me over on Instagram, please let me know by dropping a crown if you have been here with me. Also, if you're watching this on the replay, please say hi and let me know that you are on the replay. And while she comes on, I'm just going to share this in some other places. Looks like it's taking a little bit longer, but that is okay. That is okay. This is going to be an amazing discussing discussion. We're going to be talking about how she built her brand, mindset, her backstory, and then just grab and pull some information from her about the amazing mindset tips that she can share with us. So you're that way. Wait, can you see me? Is it supposed to be this way? Okay. Is yours to the side? I turned it and it said I can't record. Hey! Yeah, same. It's, it's the same thing for me. Okay, wait. Let me just get you guys up. Hold on. You guys keep talking. Don't mind me. <laughs> no, no worries. I'm going to share this while we got some people joining. If you guys are with me, I'm so excited for you guys to be here because I normally do this over on Instagram. So it's amazing that we're over here on Facebook. You look so amazing. Thank look, you. She looks so Oh, as Thank always, you. I'm just going to share this video on my page for those that follow Queens Recognize Queens, just so people can watch wherever they would like. I need to start but, doing it on a computer, that way I can start sharing it, because from my phone, it is so complicated to share it. But you know what, on the computer, you can't add people. How do you share it on your phone? I don't know. I shared it on my phone last time in the comments section. It said to share. I'm on my computer sharing it. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm like, what? But if I share it from my phone, it will share um, only to my main page. Right, right, right. Okay. So okay. I had to have my computer open so that I could share on a, on that page. Give me one second. I'm going to pull my iPad so I can share it. Of course. So if you are watching, please just make sure you drop me a crown. I'm going to try to see if I can see these comments so that we can reply back. Um, I'll be also watching this on my computer so that I can see the comments and reply back to you guys. Make sure you get your questions ready. But Sunday Soul Chat is that weekly conversation with your soul. I started doing it because when I was working nine to five, Sundays were always my days to refresh, to reboot, and to get my mindset right when eventually mindset should be a piece of work that you do every single day. But it was how I poured into myself. I don't know if you guys watched um, Super Soul Sunday with Oprah. That was like, I don't tune into much TV, but at 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, don't talk to me, don't call me, don't text me. <laughs> I am not available because I am watching Sunday, uh, Super Soul Sunday with um, Oprah. So anywho, I'm so excited to have my girl Tristan Pogue who has – um, founded an amazing, phenomenal, when I, when I get rid of this baby bump, <laughs> I'm going to be getting less tan lines because I'll be wearing her. Just yes. <laughs> I love so, that. So, so I was like, less tan here. lines. I kind of like that. Yeah, <laughs> less tan lines. I mean, honestly, if I could just be free and be me, there's a, um, there's a, a, a nude beach out here in California 
that I love so, 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 so much. But the next best thing is TA. So <laughs> I like nude beaches. I was talking to my husband about that. He's like, what's the point? I'm like, listen, you don't, for me, that's just like life. Yes. Like, yeah, I'm not even, I'm not even, I don't want to see nobody else's stuff. It's really just that freedom of, yes. Just, for me. <laughs> it's amazing. I love it. They have private ones out here. They have public ones out here. They're amazing. They're amazing. They're amazing. But um, I'm so, so, so happy to be here with you again. Um, our energy is just unbeatable, unbeatable. And I'm excited about being here and speaking to your people and to mine, hopefully, as they're here, um, about my story. I'm so happy. Yes. I'm so happy, too, because I know that in our podcast, on our interview together, we kind of got into some backstory stuff. So we'll save that for last, mm -hmm. because I think in general, there's so many people out there that are trying to build a business. And I love your story, because when you we had a phone conversation, we're talking about I was like, that is great. Like, that is that what you do, you know, and I think so many people miss that because they're looking to, you know, hit it big right away. They're looking to just have that overnight success. And it's like, when you look at a lot of people, overnight success is what you think, but you right. don't know the grind that goes into that day-to-day -day work, that mindset that they have right. to put in those really uncomfortable things and situations they have to place themselves in to make it work. So when Absolutely. you told me your story, I was like, I just love her. <laughs> So I, yes. I don't know who you are because I don't like to introduce people. I think you have so much sauce and I know that that sauce will continue to change over the years. You know, you might start designing some good gowns and who knows? Like, who knows? What your has who knows? For you, you know, so who are you today? I know you're the mindset bestie, I millennial am. all day, but you're so much more than that. So just I am. I am. Yourself. My name is Tristan Pogue. I am the CEO of Trish Atlee Swimwear and Resortwear, which is slowly moving into its own form of ready to wear, which if you guys don't know these terms, it means just stuff that you can actually put on and wear outside of going to the beach. So actual clothing, yeah. I'm really excited about. Um, yeah. I am your mindset bestie and your motivational maven. Um, I spend a lot of time with trying to transform people's minds, get them to where they need to go um, from here first. Um, I am a serial entrepreneur. Um, I help women figure out how to take their business from zero to a hundred real quick. Um, I'm a business builder. <laughs> I love building businesses. I love helping you get all this money that you're leaving on the table. And of course, mm -hmm. you know, I am just a girl from the South trying to make it. What a story to tell. And hopefully my story will touch somebody who will touch somebody who will touch somebody, so on and so forth. So. Oh, it will. I mean, nonetheless, you know, I think you know, um, building a brand and really, you know, not only building it, because I think we all have these dreams of wanting to build something. But right. when you really start and, and you begin to do it, there's different fears that creep in. There's different things that tell you, you know, like, who are you to be doing certain things? And I have so many clients that will say that, well, who am I? And this is like them selling other people's stuff. Right, right. right? You know, when it's your stuff, I laugh because it's like when you work for somebody else, you could be like, oh, I used to make them $4 million a mm -hmm. year. But then for yourself, you're like, I'm trying to figure out how to make $10. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to figure out how to make $10 off of selling everything. Absolutely. Like, you know? Absolutely. So just tell us a little bit about your biz story, which you told me a lot about it already. Just the hustle and the grit and the grind and the things that you went through where you knew you had a destiny. You knew that there was something you were meant to do. And you basically did everything in your power to learn and to make that come to fruition. So just tell us about your your brand and how you built that. Um. Okay. So I, <laughs> TA, Trisha Lear, start, it started here in Los Angeles. Um, and I'm originally from Texas. I say Texas in wide range because I've been anywhere from living in Dallas to living in Houston to living in San, San Antonio to living in East Texas. Um, so I blanket that statement as I'm from Texas. Um, if anybody is on here from Texas, y'all know we come from a different type of mindset, a different type <laughs> of way of thinking. And, yeah. um, you know, I got I got to the age of 22 and I was like, this is just not for me anymore. It's not for me. I shouldn't be here. Um, I know that there's more for me. I just don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I uh, I just I, I booked it. I, I, I came to L.A. Um, I knew that I'd be successful. Something told me I would be successful, but nothing told me how to start. And I was uh, I was scared. 
I didn't have money. I think I might have had like a hundred, hundred fifty dollars to my name. Um, you were pre rich, huh? You were pre. I said you were pre rich. Yes, I was pre. I was pre rich, honey. Pre -rich. Okay, <laughs> pre rich. Say that. Okay, so I was pre rich. Okay, pre -rich. <laughs> this was before my Millie. Um, I was pre rich, and I was on the struggle bus. Okay, I was. I did not know what I was going to do, but I had my faith. Um, I had my determination. Um, I had my grandmother with, I don't know. I don't know if you guys are uh, very close to your family, but I'm very family oriented, okay. especially when it comes to my grandparents. They raised okay. me. They're amazing. They're, you know, they're, they're in the church. They, every time I call, they give me a scripture. So um, I had that backing and I knew that I needed to be somebody because I was called to be somebody, not for anybody else. You know, I wasn't doing it for nobody. I did it for myself. And uh, doing it for myself was, it was a struggle. I lived out of my car for almost a year. Uh, and <laughs> that was really different for me um, because I had gone from living with, you know, family who took care of everything to living out of my car and not knowing what I was going to do. Um, mm. I remember like telling my parents stories so that I could like tell my mom a story so I could get extra money to buy a sewing machine because she thought I was working and I was good, but I wasn't good. Um, I couldn't tell her that because as a mother, she'd be like, girl, come home. You know? Yeah. <laughs> and I couldn't stand <laughs> there. <laughs> Anybody tell me to come home when I knew yeah. I was not supposed to be there. So, um, you know, I, I made it work. I, I kept my 24 hour fitness gym membership. And I would lag my twenty my uh my sewing machine that I still have actually into the twenty four, and I was I got cool with one of the girls that worked the day shift and she's like it's cool go in there and sew and I would teach myself how to sew every day in the twenty four hour fitness gym bathroom they they had a plug I my my car didn't have a plug so I needed a plug so uh, mm -hmm. and I did that for almost a year and that was where T A was born. That was where my brand, my baby, my life uh, was born. And, you know, I remember not knowing what was going to be next and not having orders come in and realizing, like, this could really end me. Because you get this as an artist, you know, you, you make a brand, you make a, a product, you put your all your creativity into something, and you're like, I know this is about to pop. This is about to pop. This is about to pop. Everybody's going to love it. <laughs> right? Everybody's going to love it because I love it. But it was right. like, right. it was crickets. It was like girl nobody's fucking with that sorry nobody's messing with that <laughs> i said it's okay that this is sorry. sunday soul chat <laughs> sorry y'all um so you know i i had to quickly shift from being a, the creator to being christian the businesswoman and i had to be like you know if they're not gonna come to me i'm gonna go to them so i went to the strip clubs i went to the bars i begged please let me sell. I'll sell outside. You don't even have to give me a booth, no vendor. I just, I don't have the money to pay a vendor fee. So please just let me sell here. Like, how yeah. is, like I'm going to figure out how to get it however I can. And um, I caught some of the best big breaks of my career early on because people just saw me hungry. They saw me really hungry and they were like, all right, well, look, you, you keep coming back. You keep on coming back. You won't leave right. us alone. Go ahead and come yeah. in here and sell. And one of, um, and I'm just taking you through the, these things so that I can get to the actual story. I hope you guys follow me. Here. I'm taking you there. Follow me. Okay. <laughs> so, um, you know, one of my really, really big breaks was uh, I was working. I was selling my pieces out of a strip club um, in L.A. And uh, the owner had given me a chance. He gave me a shot. He only gave me, like, this slot of, like, three hours. And he was like, you're going to have to wrap it up after that. I know what you want to do. I didn't argue. I was like, yes, sir. Like, no problem. Right. So I'm there, I'm selling my pieces. I'm really excited to be there. I'm just like giddy. I'm like, these are my pieces and this is what I right. do. And please try it on and you'll love it. And people were just like, okay, sure. So they did. They tried it on. They loved it. It was great. And one of the girls went out and she was on the floor and she came back and she was just like, hey, some girl out there really wants to know where I got this piece. And she had gotten it from me. And I was like, yeah, tell her to come back here. And, uh, she goes out there, she tells the girl to come back there, and in walks Ashley Everett, and I don't know if you know who she is, she's Beyonce's, cap. she's the mm -hmm. captain of Beyonce's dance team. She, she Yes, is, girl. She is like, the, she is a, the, the redhead that's right next to Beyonce and like everything. She's on Single Ladies yeah. in the video, she's like every video. So you yes. know me from the South, I'm like, I know 
who she is, right? <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, Ashley. Because to me, if I'm standing next to Ashley, I'm standing next to Beyonce. And I'm like, right. of course. oh my gosh, I'm of floored. Course. I'm going crazy. All the girls back there are like, why are you acting crazy? They don't know who she is. And I'm like, oh, okay, keep it cool. So I'm talking to her. She's like, oh my gosh, love your pieces. Really love them. Um, do you mind if I try some on? I was like, oh my gosh, yes. I literally stopped every other girl. I was like, y'all, we, we done for the night. <laughs> like, yeah, she right. needs to shop. <laughs> right. So right. she shopped. Piece. She, um, she grabs a couple of pieces that are, um, you know, one, a few of my signature pieces. She grabs a Desiree top, the Lucy bottom, um, the Tommy bottom, named after my grandmother, um, and another top called the Eve top. These are all still a part of my signature line that will never go anywhere. Um, and she's like, I really like these pieces. Can I buy them? And I was like, no, just take them. Just take them, please. And she's like, okay, I'm, I'm going to wear them to a party that I have coming up. I think it was a Memorial Day um, weekend that was coming up. In a cup, in the next weekend, she ended up posting a picture saying next to Beyonce at her mansion in my pieces at a pool party. And I was like, honey. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so it, um, it catapulted almost my brand to a different level. Um, it definitely made people who were first laughing at me when I reached out to be in their magazines actually say, oh, okay, I, I think I know. I think I've heard about you, TA before. I've heard about your brand before or you before. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, okay. So <laughs> yeah. it really was, um, it was really, really great for me. And as I was traveling through, um, you know, the grit and the grind of you have to go from being a creative to being a businesswoman, my mind was slowly changing. Like, you know, I slowly changed from thinking, oh, I just don't belong in Texas, I belong in California, to, to thinking, I gotta make it, to thinking, there is no other chance to make it, to thinking, this is your destiny, to thinking, everything is set up already for you, baby, just fall in line. So it, was, it started to almost be as if these blessings came towards me and all I did was think about it. You know, I, I just, I just, I manifested them. I, I thought I, I am success. There is nothing that, you know, there's nothing that can tear me down. What's made for me and what's meant for me is going to be mine no matter what. And things started falling in line. Um, we have been, luckily, thank you God, let me knock on wood because I don't want to stop. Luckily, we have been featured in many publications, um, blogs, Vogue, magazine, Teen Vogue magazine. We've been on runways from Miami. Everybody give us some hearts. Give us some hearts for the hustle. Hearts for the hustle. <laughs> we've been um we've been on runways from Miami to LA. Um and there is no stopping in sight. I don't all I see is that now I need to produce more and produce better um and produce bigger, you know? And the Definitely. best part about it is is that now after so long I am able to put me into the brand. So, you know, I got this huge personality and you know this about me because we talk, but I'm like this all the time. Like, mm -hmm. no coffee. I'll take it. Okay. <laughs> I'll take it any day, girl. I'll take you on a dish. I'll, I'll <laughs> and so, you know, my brand, I, I'd always been hiding behind my brand because I just felt like my brand is so much more important. I want them to see that before they see me. You know, I know that know that yeah. feeling yeah the feeling is just especially <laughs> when you put it's like you put your all into your baby you know you want it yeah. to thrive and you don't realize that people want to see a face to connect to a brand they want to see that face that has a personality too to connect to a brand and once I stopped hiding behind TA TA began to thrive even more you know and I was able to really just come out and just be who I am as a person you know sometimes really really loud and sometimes crazy and I stutter sometimes but I still speak on stages I don't know why they I have no clue why they book me I I just say yes I know why, <laughs> I know why. <laughs> so um you know and we we've been able to reach a um unprofound level of success that a little black girl from the south didn't know that she could do for the longest time um I think I have these these pillars, you know, where I realized where my mind decided to change for me. I realized where, you know, I began to take a step back and start meditating and understanding that I am con in control <laughs> of literally everything that I want. Yes. Like, and it was the yeah. craziest thing, you know, as a teenager, I was well, a teenager what, coming from where I came from. We don't even talk about therapy in the hood, okay? We don't talk about therapy in the South. Nobody in the hood talks about therapy, girl. Like, nobody. Nobody. Oh, my, my grandma was like, go to sleep. Sleep it off. 
you'll be fine. You're hungry. You're you'll hungry. Be you'll be fine. Like you'll be fine. Go to you. sleep. Let's pray for you. You just fighting to sleep. It's fine, right? right. So, <laughs> you know, for me to step into this new light of meditation and manifestation and understanding that my mind is literally. It's not even like it's just a, it's not a passenger on the boat. It's the driving force. You know what yes. I'm saying? Like it is yes. the one thing that if I learn how to use this tool correctly, it could build a house yes. or break one, you know? So, yes. um, and I, I learned and I'm still, I'm still learning. I'm still learning. Um, sometimes, you know, it's, it's an ongoing, you're always learning how to do something like that. Your, your mind is always changing. So you're always learning how to evolve. And I think that's the real beauty of just us as people yes. like, of just sorry of us just us people as women entrepreneurs um as mindset mavens as people who are just all about manifestation like this is never going to end you're always going to get another level and another level and another level and that is so exciting to me <laughs> yes yes so for those of you guys just joining if you don't know her please get to know her make sure you follow her page at trish pogue she has designed the amazing amazing swimsuit line trish trish atelier am i saying that yeah yes yes awesome <laughs> which has been seen on some amazing major celebrities and it's going to continue to grow and she's talking about her story on how she put in that work and that grit and you just gave so much sauce and advice <laughs> Because when I listened to your story, you were, when we talked and you said, you know, what did you do after your experience? And I said, well, I read, like you would have been one of those people that I was reading about because we all go through things. We all have stories. We all want to be successful to some extent. And I know that we kind of give it up if we feel like this is we too won't. big. Yeah. I can't do this. Yeah. Let me just go to work. Let me just go, you know, yeah. sell behind else whatever it is I know that we all are here to create whatever we're creating that's just what it is yeah. and to see you say I lived in my car for 12 months y'all 12 months like I think after month two I'd have been like oh no after no. month one I was like take me please somebody but it was it was make it right? it, it was it was you know it was make it or, or don't make it and there was no turning back. I didn't. I couldn't go home to Tommy and tell Tommy I didn't make it. My grandmother is my life. I want to buy her a mansion with marble floors and do all that yeah. extra stuff that people do, you know. Yeah. And not yeah. even just because of money wise, because of that. That she is. She's. She's deserving of it. And mm -hmm. I, I knew that I couldn't turn around and let go of everything that I had worked for. So yeah. I stuck it out for another eleven months. And yes, but I love that you also talk about the real, the realistic dips that we all have. Absolutely. The real you know situations where we sit back like what the hell am I doing like what this is crazy <laughs> and then you just get and then something kicks back in you and you're like no like this this is what I love and I've put in all this work to get here and then I love your grind of like I was going to strip clubs I was going to bars like everywhere you know? everywhere okay I was soliciting yeah. where the signs were like no soliciting I was like yeah y'all don't catch me <laughs> I was like, okay, look, I was in the malls, I was in the parking lot, I was everywhere that my little car took me that I could be, and, you know, even doing that, I had a lot of self-doubt, even doing that, I had a lot of, like, what are you doing, like, mm -hmm. is this, is this worth it, are you, are you, an, are, is, is this, is this the move that you should have made, you know, a lot of times I had those thoughts where I was like, I need to go back home, and then out of nowhere, like, I would be like, God, please, help me like give me a sign boom a sale yeah, yeah, boom yeah. somebody walking up saying hey oh. I really love your top and I'm like oh, I made it like <laughs> I still react that way by the way okay we we almost like three three years in the game and if somebody says they like a piece of half I'm like oh my gosh I made it like it's just that excitement that you know yeah. that you stuck with it and it's thriving yeah but um yeah I had those doubts like all entrepreneurs you you probably have we have those doubts but it's really just about That's sticking it. in <laughs> look Okay, it's just about Listen, in, don't know. and in. I think that's the beauty of being a creator, right? Right, Absolutely. you know, like you said, there's levels of like where you it's like a setback, it's like not a setback, but it, you know, where you, you have those moments and you choose not to allow them to rule you because you know your power. Absolutely, I read something the other day that said, um, the direct force that created us is what we are, like, we are our own creators. And I was thinking, like, what? first of all, I know I said it wrong, but it blew my mind when I read it, y'all. I was like, oh, my God. Yes. I, sat on my, yes. I sat in the living room like I was high for, like, an hour. I was, <laughs> I was like, thinking the whole time. I was like, oh, my God, that's so true. So right. we, we 
are the people we, we that the direct the mind force the energy the vibe everything that we have is what created us i can Absolutely. create every step of my life you know even mm -hmm. down to the color of my car down to the color of my house down to the neighborhood and the zip code like it is really just about manifesting, truly seeing it and understanding it and going forward and not letting yourself doubt because we all have doubt because I still have, I still have that on a regular daily basis, but being able to be like, no, that's a lie. Like I've, I've now understood that my self doubt and my, my, my limited beliefs are lies, you know, because there's no way that I would be in this successful position if they were true. You get me? So it's really just about understanding mm -hmm. your mind and understanding when to turn off that negative, that negativity and turn on that positivity and sit in that positivity, dwell in it and understand that you are so capable, so worthy, so over the top amazing. Like I had to remind myself those things yeah. like, girl, you wouldn't have made it all the way from the South side. Okay. All the way over here where there's palm trees and beautiful beaches if you were supposed to be here thriving so whatever like for all the entrepreneurs yeah. out there if you guys are struggling right now like keep going keep going keep going keep going remind yourself you are worthy you are beautiful you are capable you are able remind yourself of the dreams just imagine and visualize how your life would be when you get to where you're going to go because you're going to get there so just visualize it and see your life <laughs> absolutely does that make sense? Absolutely. Absolutely. And I yeah. think it's, it's funny because when you said turn off, um, you said turn off the negativity, right? And turn on the positivity. Yes. And it's kind of like, Absolutely. you know, the more you turn on the positivity and you speak that to yourself and you start doing the things that need to be done, like meditating, journaling, like these things that everybody overlooks because it's like, I don't have time. You know, you question how silly it is speaking to yourself right. in the mirror, looking at yourself and talking to yourself. You know, it feels weird, but listen, right. nobody's going to support you as good as you can support you and be there for you, you know, as absolutely. much as you can be there for yourself. And you have to be that. You have to be that. So that absolutely makes sense. And too many of us allow the stories of where we've been, the stories of poverty, the stories of unworthiness, the stories of those overtake us if we set back on our dreams and we say, you know what, that's a little bit too big or nobody understands right. me, nobody likes my brain, so I'm just going to do something right. else. I'm going to switch the dream. Right. You know, people right, right, do right, that right, where right. they'll just give it up and they'll start something else. Or, you know, I think the reason why I love you and I would hire you to speak whenever, and I know you'll keep getting hired to speak, whether you stutter or not, is it's authenticity. <laughs> like it's the authenticity of you're going to be 10, 20 years in your brand, wherever that is, and you'll still be happy to get a sale because there's, there's some there, you put your soul into it. You didn't do it because right it was cool. You didn't do it because somebody told you to do it. Like you did it right. and you did it your way. You learned your way. You took the image in your mind and you placed it onto those pieces and you continue to do that. And you just have such a light about you. That's just authentic and it's real. And it's, you know, we are all, I think in 2018 more. And so people want real people to look up to. Right. Everyone can say Absolutely. the quote, oh, 20, Beyonce has 24 hours in a day. But the way we look at her, we're like, yeah, but she's like super. Woman, right. But you're like, no, she has 20 right. hours in a day. Exactly. She doubts. She questions herself. If you right. watch her in interviews, right. like she talks about all of this, like I push through, I choose right. to push through. And right. that's exactly what you did. And continue to do. And I can agree with that same that's thing, of, you know, knowing the vision that I have and Go ahead. Go ahead. That's like the, the, um, that's really what separates people from, you know, getting to their full potential is what they can tolerate, what they can push through. Because I think people think that they're all gung ho mm -hmm. when it's going to be cool. When it's, you know, when I'm coming up, I'm getting business cards or, you know, when I have a logo made or, you know, the fun stuff, the fun stuff about owning and, getting to the point of your brand where you're like oh my gosh this is great but the hard stuff is what turns people off you know the subconscious is what turns people off. and if you can mm -hmm. just get your feet down 
into the ground, if you could just get them under the sand and make sure they yeah. don't move, then pour some water on them so the sand can't move. If you could just barricade them holes there, okay, and you can stand strong where you are, <laughs> you will thrive. <laughs> sorry. You will thrive like no. no don't be other. sorry. Girl. <laughs> You will. You will thrive like no other because honestly, all it takes is somebody to be um, to 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 be to have perseverance, to persevere, to to get through all of that madness and know know when you're about to start something or even if you're in the middle right now. If someone's watching this who's an entrepreneur and they're like, I don't know if I can make it another day. That means push for another day. That's all that means. If you don't know if you make it. <laughs> That's literally, that is literally something telling you, go, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. So um, I, I hope that that is, I hope that this is helping somebody. I'm all about trying to uplift entrepreneurs. I know that life of being like, what am I doing is, you know, and yes. I went into it not to make money. I went into it because my passion said, go to it, you know, but I know that that, that fear, because even though I didn't go into it about, for making money, I had to live in my car for a year and I wouldn't wish that on nobody. Like nobody, okay. I want. I know you, you know you got to pay your bills. <laughs> so yeah. So I keep going, keep going to all the entrepreneurs out there. I hope this is helping you guys. Um, I hope, hope, hope this is helping because I I know how it feels You're to be me. I I, I honestly do these two because um you know I don't know if you so the saying is we teach those who we, we teach because we're teaching. It's like a note, note to self as well, right? Mm -hmm. So I teach and I show up and I, I connect with other women because at the end of the day, building these connections with you, my other girls, Naisha, Courage, all these different women, Shaq, you know, even coaching, when you coach clients, you learn so much more about your mindset, where you've been, you might find something in that we're Absolutely. all alike, just like we talked about. When you are connected to people, Absolutely. you're so much alike. There's just this infinity sign of learning that's always happening. It's always a give and take mm -hmm. of learning. So if nobody on this live is taking anything, you know, this is food for my soul. This is words to my spirit because I'm a giver, right? I'm a giver of telling people don't give up, but some I want somebody to tell me don't give up too. Yes. <laughs> you know? and yes. Know Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> with your story and, and just the people I've always looked up to and Eric Thomas, Les Brown, you know, they always talk about, you know, there's one key thing people talk about the most is perseverance. Mm -hmm. um, you know, he went to school and got a four, it took him 12 years to get a four year degree. And a lot mm -hmm. of people are not built for that. They will give mm -hmm. up because they question themselves more than they're questioning the dream in their mind. And I always say to people, your dream when something is placed in your mind, mm -hmm. what you're, we fail because we expect it to be easy. And Eric Thomas is always like, if it was easy, everybody would do it. Absolutely. Everybody would be doing Absolutely. Everybody would have a Trish Atelier line, <laughs> but they don't. <laughs> they don't have your <gasps> personality. They don't have right. your grit. They don't have what it is in you. It's not that we all can't have that but we choose mm -hmm. not to because mindset, mm -hmm. which is why mm -hmm. I, you love mindset. I love mindset. Cause I know at the end of the oh, day, yeah. all that other stuff is cool. You can have schedules, you can have Absolutely. routines. You, so you can have a lot of other things that do help, but you need to get your mindset right. And you need to develop a really Absolutely. strong sense of, just like you said, putting two feet in the floor and, and, yes. and, and turning your sails right. and being able to brace them wins, even if it's, Live in your car, whatever it, whatever your story is taking you through to that next level. Because I know from my story, same way as an entrepreneur, there's a lot of things I have to go through today. There's a lot of things I've gone through right. this year, last year, just having a business that I know I have a bigger vision. So I know that I can't just give it up because of these little physical situations that are happening. Mm -hmm. If anything, it's a test mm -hmm. to how much do I really want mm -hmm. this? How much do I really That's trust exactly and believe my own vision? Right? I so I have a question. Oh, go, go, go. Tell me. No, you go. No, you go. No, okay. no, no. Speak, girl. I definitely Speak own it. I, definitely, <laughs> I, I think that we're not, we're not lined up because I have you going and I'm literally like here, but I don't think we're lined up. Like you're, everything is like, weird i hope the people i hope the viewers are seeing it like it's like it's going like now i see you thinking can I you guys see us now. okay we're good out. i can still <laughs> see you fine <laughs> okay, okay good, good, good. Um, Go ahead, i definitely feel like you know with the people that i coach like with the people that i 
that I help with their businesses, I help with their brands, um, you know, trying to take their, their brands, their businesses, their ideas and their purpose to the next level. I think that I always remind them that, um, you know, welcome, and it's going to sound weird, but welcome a fail. You know, I got to a point in my career where I began to count the fails because I knew after so many, I'd get a win. And I'd be like, yes, that's cool. If this don't work out, a win's next, win, a win is next, a win is next. You know, so I would always yes. have a win on yes. my mind. And it just so happened if I failed, that only meant a win was about to come around. So I think that that's where I, I train, you know, where I train and where I nurture these entrepreneurs and these women entrepreneurs and these just business owners to understand that it's okay to go through a storm and to be lost for a little while, but understand that that was going to come from the beginning. Like all, all that was already lined up for you. It's going to come so that show. you can overcome that. And then later on you can say, oh, I got to yeah. that and I learned this from it and I can put it towards this. It's just, it's, it all comes full circle because I remember like not realizing why did I need to learn how to do a certain type of stitch and a certain type of whatever. And then uh, w Magazine reached out to me and wanted a specific piece that took that stitch that I, I taught myself years before. And I was like, that's why. Okay. It took me so long to learn that stitch, but mm -hmm. thank you. Thank you for, you know, for me persevering through that because that is what got me in that feature. You know, that is what got me to a next level. So, um, but yes, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to hear. Give me a question. Give me a question. I'm listening. <laughs> Give me a question. Well, I just love that. I just want to follow up on that because I love that so much. What I've learned is that <clears throat> there's character that has to be built in us. The character of integrity, the character of loyalty to our dreams, like especially integrity, especially grit. Like there's just a character behind you being built that way so that you, you do last long. It's not some little, Absolutely. you know, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, pursuit, you know? Um, so there's so much good stuff that comes out of trial and, and failures. And I love that you mentioned that. Cause I think a lot of us, when we get down to the nitty gritty of why we don't move is because we're afraid to fail. We're afraid to look stupid. We're, and even when I see people, oh, you do that queen thing. Like people can't even get the whole name out. I'm like, that's all right. <laughs> like, that is okay. Because at the end of the day, your no, vision okay. isn't. Yeah, it really is because our visions, I know enough to know that my vision is not placed in anybody else's brain, but my own. So exactly. for me to sit exactly. and explain myself or try to tell people where God is sending me, I don't have to do that. I don't have to do that. That's not my job. My job is to just keep pursuing it. And I think you talked about right. this a little bit already, which was, what did you decide to start doing differently? Like, I know you had the grit. But I know just as a business woman, once you shifted into that mindset of like, okay, like that girl was next to Beyonce, but that's good enough for me. <laughs> Cause I'm like, yeah. Right. <laughs> it was, like, what did you it was, uh, to do differently as a business owner? As a business woman? Um, did, did, did that I, come I out like that... it lagged a little bit? No, you, I think you said, what did I decide to do differently as a business woman? Yes. To take you to that next level, See, yeah. I, yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, well, what I did was I got organized. Um, now, living in your car for a year and trying to produce a line of swimwear outside of a 24-hour fitness situation is hard. It's, it's difficult. It's, it's gritty. It's nasty. I don't like it. But point is... Um, I had to figure out how to get organized. In order to, we don't like it for you. I had to figure, yeah, I had to figure out how to get organized to elevate. Um, I I started understanding how the way of the world worked. You know, I, I started putting two and two together. Okay, if she got in that and I got in this publication, and now they're worried about this, how can I get into another publication? Or how can I get my stuff on girls who might spark? the eyesight of someone who can put me on a different level who can put me on a different level i realized that i if you want to go somewhere quickly you should go alone somewhere for a long time and if, and if you want to go further with it you need a team of people i didn't have people as a team so i you I, I decided i was going to now boomerang off people to get to what i needed to and i was like being able to change my mindset and knowing that I am worthy, being able to connect with these people on a genuine level of this is my passion, they, they, there will be no other choice but for them to want to help me. And as soon as I said it, and as soon as I put it into motion, that's what it happened. I met people left and right that were like, 
hey, what are you doing? Oh, yeah, yeah, I've seen you before. You should come over here and do this. Or you should talk to this person. Or you should. And I, I got organized. And I was like, yes, I can go there. Yes, I can do that. Yes, I can do that. And so uh, my life quickly changed. Um, I could afford an apartment. Uh, at Florida apartment. And I, I bought an apartment. Yes. And I moved out of my car, y'all. I moved out of my car. <laughs> that was like the biggest situation for me. I was like, I'm not in my car no more. Yay. <laughs> Right. But right. I can afford it. And half the time, the beginning of that, I was still in my car and no one knew, you know, like I would just shower at the 24 hour fitness. Like I had a membership. I didn't feel no type of way. Don't judge me. I need to, I got to thrive. So I was shower at 24 hour fitness. Yeah. I got to a point where I could afford an apartment, got into an apartment. It was great. Business started booming. Um, when I put myself out there as, you know, the creator of this, when I stopped hiding behind my brand, um, when I made a shift into understanding that I have the power to take my brand with me um, and be the face of it. It didn't, it didn't have a face before. It was just a name on a bikini. You know, there was no face to it. Um, and that was really great for me because it allowed me to come out and be who I am and for people to just be really accepting. But as soon as I put it into motion of God and mindset, I need y'all to figure out a way for me to have people to boomerang off of and so that I can get to the thriving part of this business, so I can get to the actual money making consistently of this business, um, it's what happened. I taught myself the marketing side of things. I taught myself the design side of things. I taught myself uh, the import side of things, which was really, really difficult because I wanted to start importing all these luxurious fabrics so that my clientele could have like great one of a kind fabric that nobody else had. And to this day, we still have imported Italian fabric. So shop TA, but um, <laughs> it was great. Yeah. It was wonderful. Yes. Once I started pushing myself. Yes. You know what? Once, once you, um, you're going to have to. Yeah. So it, it was great. It was wonderful. <laughs> I was able Very to. Um, <laughs> I was able to um I was able to really get into the nitty gritty of every aspect of my brand. I didn't let up um until I knew everything. So I knew about PR, I knew how to put myself in front of the right people, I knew how to market my brand, um, I knew how to sew the pieces, how to design the pieces, how to pattern make. Um I knew what it meant to get um, a cloth fabric versus a um, stretch fabric. I knew the different machines. I was like, I'm going to dive headfirst into everything, everything that it, may, it takes to make my brand 1,000% because 100 wasn't enough. And I think that's a mindset thing too. 100 is never enough. I got to go beast mode, like Eric says. 1,000%. Um, once I, you know, was I, I had to dive in for that 1,000%. I realized everything started to change. Like I started to get the results because I kept my mind on a path of perseverance. I kept my mind on a path of thriving. I kept my mind on a path of no matter what this outside wall says you can't do, you are so capable of doing. And so I did. I threw myself in. I did. I, sometimes I wouldn't talk to my best friend of 14 years for weeks, weeks. She'd be like, are you alive? I'm like, yeah, girl, turn it back. Like I, cause I would stay up all night. So and it was just, it became, it became my first love. Honestly, it became my first love. I made my business. And I know that's not, a, that's not exactly something that you have to do as an entrepreneur. People have babies. People actually have first love. Like that's fine. But my brand became my first love. I, I put my heart and my soul into it. And the business side became easy for me. As a matter of fact, things became, they, they started to come to me. Like people who wanted to teach me, for the freezy. Let me mentor you on how to do a Facebook ad. Let me show you how to do an Instagram ad to make this really work. And I'm like, yeah, but how much? Because I don't got that. They're like, oh, free. I'm like, oh, okay. So it was just, you know, it, it all, my my mind put it out into the world. I manifested it and it all came falling in my lap. Does that make sense? Am I making sense? Am I going on? <laughs> yeah, that's what happened. You know, that's what happens. And I, I did a post where I talked about hustling versus aligning, you know, mm -hmm. and hustle to me is, is an easy thing to do, you know, but alignment takes more mind work. It takes more work of allowing thriving to come to you opposed to just getting by, which mm -hmm. allows you to relax into your purpose and to have those things come to you and to when you realize that's power because when you're able to attract the things to you and you focus on the attraction more than 
I think you do need to hustle, but I think really, really learning life is attraction. Absolutely. To me, that's ownership. To me, that's power. To me, that's the authority of what we are given. And that's the goal of life is to learn how to bring all those things that you want <laughs> to you because you have the power to do that. You have the power to do yeah, that. And I love that you so can much. Just stand that still. That like, that's the thing. Initially, you can literally just stand still and everything should come to you because it's already written that it's for you. It's already supposed to be for you. You already should be attracting it. But you know, we exactly. come, a lot of us come from backgrounds where we maybe saw our grandparents and our parents struggle and our subconscious mind tells us as we grow up, even though we say, oh, we're going to be a millionaire, a billionaire, this or that, even though we say it and we put that energy out because we actually want it, we are, our subconscious is doing things that holds us from it. Like, for instance, I used to be like, man, I'm going to make mm -hmm. my first billionaire or million by the time I'm 26. I made it at 25, just so you guys know. But by the time I'm 26, I made my first billion by the time I'm 26, right? But what I would do was I would get money, get money that I know I should put towards my brand or my business. And subconsciously, my mind would tell me, you remember seeing your mother struggle and work two jobs? You remember seeing your grandparents struggle to get you what you wanted, the bow reds and the, the dresses and this? You don't deserve money. So even though I was telling myself in the front, I'm totally worthy of this. I want this. I had to go back and spend time with my thoughts because my subconscious was telling me, no, you're not. And I would go spend it on stupid stuff. Starbucks every day. I don't need that. Uh, extra this or that. Going to the mall and buying stuff that I knew that I could make. Just going out and doing stuff that I know I'm not supposed to be doing because my subconscious kept saying, spend it. You don't deserve it. Spend it. Spend it. Spend it. Spend it. You'll never be a millionaire. Nobody in your family is. Spend it. Spend it. Spend it. I had to sit down. I had to understand my thought process. I had to realize these thoughts that are really holding me back that I don't want to face, they're coming from my childhood. Things that I saw or experienced when I was too young to understand, so I just stored them back there. Now I, I do. decide as an adult that they are lies. So I started deciding mm -hmm. they're lies for me. I can attract all the money I want. That's a lie for me. I can be as successful as I want. That's a lie for me. I can get this or that and I can I can donate here and I can help women do this and these things that are telling me that I can't I can they're lies and once I decided they were lies I stood still and everything was attracted everything started looking towards me it's as if it was all looking outward and when I stood still it started looking inward towards me like there you go all right now I'll see you now now let me come towards you instead so it was it was amazing mm -hmm. your mind is very crazy tool. You got to use it right, y'all. Y'all got to use it right. Because if you use it right. Absolutely. And I love, <clears throat> I love that you shared that because we don't, you know, it, if, if people just took a little bit of time out to learn about just the way the brain works, subconscious versus conscious thoughts, right? You would understand the subconscious mind is extremely powerful. In my group, I shared a video where there's a woman telling herself affirmations and her subconscious is up here and she's like, I'm beautiful. It's like, no, you're not. Nope. <laughs> I'm going to do this. No, you're not. <laughs> that is literally what it does. No, you're not. Yeah, that's right. Right? Sis, that's right. what it does, sis. It's trying to tell yeah. you you ain't worthy. And you got to be like, hold up, hold yeah. up, hold up. Because you're lying. Because I am worthy. And I am beautiful. And I am capable. And I am going to thrive. And I am going to make it. I, whatever your am is, whatever my I am is, you have to stick yeah. strong and hold it. And you got to tell your subconscious, uh, this every day might be I mean I y'all let's be real I'm thriving and I still talk to my subconscious on a daily three four times a day and I gotta be like you lying that's that gotta be <laughs> can't be true yeah. it can't be true it can't be true but I do have to yeah. go back and I have to tell myself that's why we're always evolving because it's never going to be to a point where you know you understand that and it's it stops you always are going to evolve to a next level but you're always going to talk to your, your subconscious and tell your subconscious you are capable of evolving to that level because it's going to try to keep you there. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And it's not, okay. it's no one's fault. It's no one's fault. It's just training your mind. I was on live and one of my, one of my Facebook fam said, oh yeah, you have to trick your mind. I said, no, you have to train it. It's about training your mind. It's not tricking it. You're not going to pull the wool over its eyes. It's about training it. You know, when you train a muscle, it takes time to get there. Okay. It takes time to be, Hello, Absolutely. come on out. It takes it takes time. You know what I'm saying? It's like it the next day. Yeah, I gotta go to the her next page day, and just get that, that next little day. body shot. <laughs> it's not gonna come the 
it's not going to uh, do without, you know, you got to fuel it right. You got to fuel my, your mind right. You got to, and fueling is the talking that you're telling to it. Like, I'm fueling my mind by saying, I am worthy. I am beautiful. I am a successful entrepreneur. I am a millionaire. I am going to make waves for my family. I am going to make waves for people who came out of the neighborhood that I came out of. You say this, you remind yourself this, these things will come. I know it sounds crazy, but y'all got to gotta try it. Y'all got to do it. Y'all got to do it. <laughs> It doesn't sound, I mean, I think it's because, <clears throat> you know, for me, obviously, it doesn't sound crazy because I know, you know, and I had someone on one time and they said, you have to get extreme about your mindset. And there's no in between for that because mm -hmm. you're playing the field and you're kind of dabbling in knowing a little bit more. You're kind of still hanging around the same people. You're kind of still doing the same things. You're kind of still having the same kind of days. Right. Eric Thomas says it too, which he's one of my favorite people ever. How bad do you really want it? Until you want it as bad as you want to breathe, right? then you'll be successful. Right. Some of us just kind of want it, right? right? And even Absolutely. for me, the levels that I'm getting now, right. I'm like, okay, I got to meditate in the morning. I got to meditate in the midday and I got to meditate and I got to write twice a day, you know, and just taking it to that next level mm -hmm. because at every level it requires a different you that's very uncomfortable. Because your brain does, it wants to keep you safe. It's built right. to keep you safe. Make Absolutely. sure you're safe and you're all right. And although these fearful Absolutely. situations seem like, you know, they're they're gonna hurt us and they're they, they bring out fear. They're just they're just thoughts. They're just thoughts right. of taking yourself to the next level, and it makes us very uncomfortable, which brings in fear. So I love that. So y'all, I'm so sorry. We ain't even gonna get into the backstory. Y'all gonna have to tune to the actual <laughs> podcast for that yeah because i want to get you i want to bring her on where we can share her backstory yes unless you want to share story today i feel like you should i think ah! <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna share it on the podcast <laughs> i feel like we should share, share it on the podcast we'll do a part two to this because I yes want you guys part to two podcast. podcast i'm here for it Yes, yes, because y'all know I got a little butt in the oven, so I Aww. want to merge this to video slash podcast and to really be able to, I want you guys to learn her backstory, but I know like the back, the back, back story because we all have things in our childhood, we all have things that were said to us, we all have fucked up situations that have happened to us Just that real. really real, we'll imprint, yes, you gotta get that F out because... <laughs> I don't care, y'all. Sunday's for cussing. There's a new <laughs> Sunday on Facebook today. <laughs> <We're> cussing. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Tell your grandma. My, my grandmother said it's okay, so it's all right. <laughs> but, um, you know, we just have to be real about it. And, and, and when you go through situations and circumstances, you might feel sad thinking about it. You might feel hurt. You might feel unworthy. But those situations have, like, 30 words that are associated with them. And if you're not talking to your mindset and if you're not healing those situations and if you're not getting a, getting a therapist or, or a coach or working through those situations, you'll continue to relive them, to take them into your daily life. And a worthiness is, I mean, that's probably one of the biggest ailments of our society is mm -hmm. feeling Absolutely. unworthy enough Absolutely. to do this or unworthy enough to do that. We And I know that's why we love... I love celebrities too, but I don't love them to the point where I've ever met one and felt like I can't be that, or I'm just like mm -hmm. crying my eyes out. I'm honored because there's so many that I love, but I'm not, you know, I'm I'm not, I'm just not that person that's gonna freak out and act all crazy. Like I'm I'm honored because I'm like, hey, that's what's up. Like I admire you, <laughs> but you know, I know that I'm at that same level of greatness. There's nobody like me on this planet. Right. Absolutely. And that's your gift. <laughs> right. So y'all would have to turn into that podcast because once you if you watch this and you hear her backstory, I mean, we kind of got it out the other day without really even anticipating it, you know, and it just shows that we have a lot of things that will drive us, but we also have a lot of things that will set us back and keep us in those muddy places because those experiences are so deep to our soul. So Y'all got to tune in for that. <laughs> yes, I'm excited. I'm excited before, to come on for a part two. I am too. I just love you so much because, you know, you. women, us women, men, 
you know we carry things in us everything is energy even someone saying oh well i have to trick my mindset well if you're gonna use that word that's how it's gonna feel you don't feel like you're tricking yourself because right. you haven't learned yourself enough to know the experiences that made you feel un unworthy, the experiences that right. made you feel like you couldn't, those experiences that made you ready to give your last to someone else and give nothing to yourself, right? All these Absolutely. different things. And I know you talk about self-love too, which is yes. why I love you. Yes. Yes. Because self-love you know, and self-discovery self is everything. <laughs> it's the best love. It's the, it it's the it best is. love, okay? It is the first love you should have before anything else. Above all, yes. you should love yourself. You should love God. You should move forward with that. Yes. Okay? <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. And it's, and it's said everywhere, right? That you are made in the image of God. You have the same power as your creator. And the more that we keep Absolutely. allowing that vibration to really beat within us of over the fear, over the situations... You know, that's how we really turn the tides. And I know that's what you do. You keep your vibes high. You move somewhere yes. that keeps your vibes high as well. Yes. <laughs> You're like, yes. you know, it's back over yes. there. <laughs> yes. No, you no. Know, so you, there's so you, much. You know, how, you know how it is. And honestly, like, just one, I know we're, we're about to wrap this up. But one last thing, like, we have the same energy or we have the same power as our creator. I really cannot get over that, y'all. I'm talking about heavens and earth, y'all. We can do that. Like, isn't that crazy? That's so... It's so crazy. You have that power in your mind to you. Even if you were, I, I didn't know how to sow a day in my life. I didn't know. I didn't know what I was doing. I had never sown before. Okay. Ever, 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 ever. And without having enough money to even have the internet to watch videos to teach me because I have the same power that he has. I can make what it, whatever I can, whatever I want to make. I can make it times 10, times 100. And that's what I did. If you guys are out there trying to do something and you don't, and you feel powerless and you feel like you are not worthy and you can't do it, just do what I said. Stick your feet down, okay? Get real serious about your mindset and understand that you have the same power as our creator. And that is endless amounts of power. That is over the top power. That is just insane. Okay, like yes. my big personality couldn't even say enough, all right, about the power that you yes. have in your mind and in your body. Yeah. So, yes, mm -hmm. I, that's all I want to say. I want to wrap up with that. <laughs> well, I got so I got one more question for you. So I'm so happy that you touched on mindset. So I want to know um, what are some of your daily mindset must haves, must dos that you can recommend for everybody else out there? Because I think we got to get out of the vibration of kind of wanting it. We got to get out of the vibration that we're not enough. We got to get out. And me, I'm. Pre I'm preaching to myself here too because I do things and I have doubts just like you said every day to where sometimes the other day I think I had when I told you I had to get my life together that day and I was like a good three hour stint of me just having to feed myself some different stuff because I was, I was having a little moment <laughs> you know so what are some of your must haves must do's that you do every single day to keep taking your mind to that next level and you know feeding yourself okay. faith over fear I think that um, it's super, super, super important to have a, and I know that, you know, while mindset is what we're talking on, I think having a morning routine and a daily routine that involves really heavily focusing on your mindset is great. And I say this to a lot of my entrepreneurs um, on my page. If you guys are over here watching, they, they are probably tired of hearing this. I grind a morning routine into their, their heads because when I wake up, um, I, my mindset tells me, or even if my mindset tells me to go back to sleep, I remind my mindset, winners get up early, you know? So I remind my mindset, winners get up early, and then I get up, and then I meditate, um, and then you I know, feed myself. <laughs> what? What did you say? What did you no, say? No, I said even on Sunday. I saw when you posted, I said even you on wakes up super early, but that's how you do it. Even on Sunday. Even on Sunday. I had a morning <laughs> meeting this morning. I had a meeting this morning with Team TA and a new photographer that I want to sign to the brand. And so even on Sundays, it, it does not stop. But I wake up early in the morning. Um, I meditate. I work out. You People don't understand that being active in your body is being active in your mind. It, 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 it releases yeah. endorphins. It allows your mind to understand that I am up. I am ready. I'm about to get this day going. We're good. So, you know, I activate what I can do 
with what I have. And that's getting up in the morning. That's meditating. Um, that's getting a workout in. I read for an hour a day. Leaders are readers, y'all. Leaders are readers. Leaders are readers. Leaders are readers. I read <laughs> for an hour a day. Sometimes I finish a book in a week. It's crazy. But I read every single day, even if I have to put it into my um my, my you tomorrow. Time, I read. Leaders are readers. Leaders are readers. <laughs> leaders are readers. Um, so yes, I, I do that every single day. Um, but I, I keep affirmations everywhere. I believe in, and I know you can't see my computer. Can yes. you see my computer? Hold on. Yes. Look, you see those sticky notes? Look I at those sticky them, notes. I they ditto, are ditto. I have all affirmations. They're everywhere in my house. They're they're in my kitchen. They're on my in my bathroom sink. Yes. In the, on the mirror. Oh, I put them in. Yes. I, everywhere okay people are are, are yes. so just they, they want to have affirmations and they're putting them like in their phone and their notes and they read them once a day i read them all day all day another thing yes. that i do with my mind or to, to help my mindset is i'm good to people i try to be good to people when you're good to people it does something for your mindset it elevates your mindset it it re releases something that lets your mind know we are good we are good because once you put that out into the world there is nothing that's yes. bad that, that's really bad that can come to you. For instance, like I, you know, I recently just promo and, you know, people, women who work in the same um, industry for whatever reason won't promo each other. And I, I want us to get over that as, as a people, but you know, I recently <laughs> Queens Queens, y'all. <laughs> yeah. Look, I recently promo Queens Organized Queens and with nothing, with nothing, I didn't want anything in advance. I didn't want anything in return. I just knew that I wanted people to know more about Ebony. Like, she's awesome. She's amazing. You guys know because you she, you guys are her Facebook friends and her Facebook family and Facebook besties. Um, but I wanted my people to also know who she was and turn around and got four sales. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. Four people wanted to book me for a mentorship situation. And I was like, okay, cool. When you train your mind to be just good, to be in high vibration, you open up this world of everything coming to you the way that they should. And I, I try to do something good for someone at least once a day, at least once a day. And I'm not saying that that's what everyone needs to do, but that is a constant thing that I try to do um, to keep myself in high vibration because selfishly, my higher, the higher my vibration, the more goodness comes, you know? So um, even if you have to do it selfishly. So <laughs> those are a few of the things that I do. I meditate, I get up early, I work out. Um, I read leaders are readers, leaders are readers, leaders are readers. And um, I read every day. <laughs> every day. I affirm I affirm myself throughout the day. There is not a time if I if I feel like it's quiet in there, it's time for affirmation. You know, it, look, it shouldn't be quiet in there. I should be hearing you're beautiful, you're great, you're wonderful. Let's go, <laughs> let's get it. You know, so <laughs> so yeah, so that's that's what I do. I love that. I love that. So I hope you guys watch this. If you're watching this on the playback, please let me know you're on the replay. Take some notes. If you guys are on here today, take some notes. Follow her at Tristan Pogue on Facebook as well as Instagram. Yes. yes as yes. well as her line, yes. Trish Atelier, her swimsuit yes, yes, line. Yes. Because at the end of the day, you know, we people talk about social media like it's such a bad thing. And I'm like, it's everything is how you see it. And I choose to use it in a way that is uplifting. I choose to use it in a way to connect with people like you. And just thank you so much for connecting with me, for, for following me, for tagging me. You my bestie. Um, you know, because in, in <laughs> listen, you know what? Because I have a philosophy. I have a philosophy, even just building this brand where it's, 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 you know, we, we have to be the change we wish to see. So amongst women, we can't think, well, I'm successful. Like I can't put the next person on. I even heard an interview of a celebrity mm -hmm. saying, you know, you can't put people on because they'll, they'll take it and run with it. And like, nobody wants to, uh, you know, give you credit. And it's like, so <laughs> like, right. you know, that's not right. your job. It's like giving a homeless guy, you know, if a homeless guy is asking for money, I'm not giving you money so you could buy a beer. Why is that your business? Right. It's about the goodness right. of your heart and not about judging right. what the next person is going to do with your goodness. You know, right. so Absolutely. when I get to come across people like you to connect with you on a deeper level, to bring you and show other people and more amazing people that believe the same thing, you know, it's again, that infinity that infinity of yes. goodness and that infinity of saying women can get along women can uplift each other women can do the same thing and still 
promote each other and love on each other and tag each other and, and you know, win. do simple shit that other people yes. don't want to do. <laughs> and win, yes. And win, of course. So I am just so honored that you are just amazing. I'm honored to know you and to wherever Thank our relationship you. goes. That's why I already got on the speakers list. Um, but yes, no, we're, we're your besties Tuesday for Tuesday. life. Like I'm getting, I'm getting little babies yeah. and stuff and everything. We're <laughs> besties for life. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And, it's, and I said to you, it's like, and I want everybody else out there to realize, you know, y'all know Drake had the no new friends, you know, no new friends, but it's, when you reach a different mindset, you have to understand that you do need new friends to go to new places. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. there's no ifs, ands, or buts about that. So you do need a lot of new friends. And Absolutely. it's amazing for me to be able to have passed that mindset and have, um, you know, just elevated. And I just want to note to all my friends out there, can you listen to what she said as far as not being available? Like, I'm not available, y'all. It's not intentionally. I just got some things I got to do and I take right. very seriously. <laughs> it's nothing to nobody else I just have some things I'm working on right, <laughs> and right, I'm right. really focused so I appreciate your presence I appreciate you for choosing light and for those of you that want to know the backstory please watch out for that podcast because yes. many of us have gone through some serious shit and it is our choice on how we will continue, how we will see that, how we will move through that, how we will find worthiness in the darkness, how we become our own lights. And you have done that. And you just, when you show up, girl, you look like a light bulb. Come on. <laughs> and everybody Come on. can reform. <laughs> thank you. So I thank love you. you. I love you. I love you. Thank You're you so, so much awesome. for thank joining us. Let's just know where we can follow you. I know I already said it. Just just list out your website. Um, everywhere yes, people yes, can yes. find you. You have you have a new line dropping right yes so i have a new line dropping in february it is um we are working on it right now i'm very very excited to drop it but you can shop ta at www.trishatelier.com that's t-r-i-s-h-a-t-e-l-i-e-r.com um you can follow me on instagram on twitter on facebook at tristian pogue trish with a double s so S H S T O N and Pogue is like Vogue the magazine drop the V at the P. That's how you say it. Um, yes. You guys can follow me on every social media platform at Trish and Pogue. Um, I am your mindset bestie. I'm so happy to have been here today. Um, if you guys can't find me, just scroll down Ebb's timeline. I'm somewhere on there. Y'all gonna see me. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. You're so 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 amazing, Ebb. Thank you so much for having me. Again, I'm probably gonna text you after this, so we say bye like we never gonna talk again. But I love you long time. <laughs> I know. I <laughs> I love you too so as I always say you guys thank you so much for joining me if you're watching this on the playback thank you so much for watching make sure you comment make sure you like make sure you share because the more goodness we share the more good we bring into the world let's make it viral so as I yes. always say real recognize real queens recognize queens you guys have an amazing Sunday thank you so much for joining us for Sunday Soul Chat <laughs>